One of the low-key positions in need for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings head into the NFL draft is that wide receiver three position. Yes, you have Justin Friggin Jefferson and Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen, but it definitely could use some depth and you could use some speed, specifically long speed. Enter one, Anthony Schwartz, the insanely fast wide receiver from Auburn. War damn eagle. And our guy Justin at the Draft Network reported that the speed demon wide receiver recently met with the Vikings, amongst a bunch of other teams. He ran a 4-2-6-40 at his pro day, nearly breaking John Ross's combine record of 4-2-2. And the term world-class speed gets thrown around a lot ad nauseum during uh, the offseason uh, process. But Schwartz is legit. He is legitimately a world-class speedster. He was an international high school track star, ran at Auburn, and his personal best in the 100-meter dash is 10.07 seconds. The eighth fastest time at the 100-meter finals in Rio in 2016 was 10.06. Woo! You like to see it. So let's talk about the Auburn wide receiver today. Background, only 20 years old, turns 21 in September. Former four-star recruit from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, inked up with Auburn, headed out to the Plains, and saw action right away as a true freshman, racking up 568 yards from scrimmage and seven touchdowns, used as a really nice gadget player. Last year as a receiver, posted 54 catches, 636 yards receiving, three touchdowns, 70.9 PFF grade. Plus, he's already working out with Randy Moss. Love to see it. He's already ingratiating himself with the Vikings fans. Pro day, yes, speed, elite, but agility and explosiveness, didn't test the greatest as well as he's very slightly built like I think that even at 186 even nine pounds heavier than Devonte Smith I think there's more issues with his frame uh, than the Heisman Trophy winner pros speed absolutely undeniable at the next level fastest player in college football yeah you, you can't coach that hands and tracking so when you have track guys at wide receiver sometimes they're just that they're just fast guys who can't really catch the football but no Schwartz is a wide receiver who runs track good hands catches the ball away from his body very good at tracking the ball in flight as well extremely underrated rack run after catch I think he plays a lot quicker than his testing numbers suggest he does have some shake plus if he gets a straight line it's over it's over man Plus, versatility being used as XZH uh, in Gus Malzahn's offense, as well as in the backfield. He truly is a gadget player on top of that world-class speed. Toughness. So, like we mentioned about track guys playing wide receiver, I mean, sometimes they're, nah, nah. But he is a football player. He does not shy away from contact. He's not afraid to go over the middle, and he will lay the wood if given opportunity. Cons. So route refinement. And this is a problem with uh, some of the spread college offenses. So Gus Malzahn, his offense route tree is extremely simplistic. It, it is a lot of bubble screens, a lot of nine routes, etc. So working on that refinement is great. You know, he's already put in that work with Randy Moss. But also, it's like Nolan Ryan. Like, how good does your slider have to be if your fastball is that damn good? You know what I mean? Yeah. Release at the next level, getting off of press coverage is going to be an issue. But even though he does have a slight frame, he does have a few more moves than given credit for getting off the line of scrimmage. He, he had some really nice reps against Sertain the second, as well as Trevon Diggs and the Iron Bulls over the years. Slot only, so we've gotten in trouble with this. But keeping him inside versus smaller slot cornerbacks and using his speed to push the middle of the field vertically might be his best use uh, as an asset. Also. So no return experience, which this one is puzzling. So zero punt returns uh, and never appeared on a kick return, which is sort of weird. Now, this could be his status as a, a prize member of the offense as well as a stud wide receiver, but it's a little bit weird considering how good he is at tracking the ball. So he, even though maybe he won't be a punt returner, but this shouldn't disqualify him from uh, learning the ropes as a kick returner. I think that he would add a huge asset, especially if it comes to a team as a wide receiver three, wide receiver four. Pro comp. Now, it would be easy just to say Tyreek Hill, but Tyreek Hill's in another class, man. So Willie Galt, lanky, six-foot track star coming out of the SEC. Willie Galt, the pride of Tennessee, Rocky Top, and uh, a guy that was a world-class sprinter first, and then it translated to the NFL for the Chicago Bears, etc. So I really do like Anthony Schwartz, but this is a loaded wide receiver class, man. You could say that this is deeper than 2020, and I have Schwartz as my wide receiver 14, uh, just behind Eskridge, Diami, uh, Tutu, as well as Sage Surratt, but ahead of extremely talented guys like Jalen Darden and and uh, Amari Rogers of Clemson, Tylen Walls, etc., and mainly because his ceiling is extremely high. And if he adds size and refines his route running, the sky can be the limit with his speed, hands, and toughness. So I think Anthony Schwartz uh, would be a really nice mid-round pickup for the Vikings because if you look at the Vikings wide receiver room. 
There is a spot for that speedster. There is a spot for another track star because he's light years ahead of Dan Chisena, the former track star at Penn State, uh, as a true wide receiver and would add a fun vertical element to the passing game. So if, if the Vikings are able to get Anthony Schwartz with one of their four freaking fourth round picks, that would be phenomenal. And I know what you're saying. Ah, his pro day, he's going to be a third round pick. Ah, not necessarily. So you have limited college production as well as you have a slight frame and this is a deep wide receiver class. So I think teams may just put off taking wide receivers because if you need a six foot or under speedster wide receiver, like this is the draft for you because there's like 20, 25 dudes in this class that would fit that bill. So Anthony Schwartz, could it happen? Maybe. Could he fit in with the Vikings? Absolutely. And what would really benefit him is that behind Jefferson, behind Thielen, he doesn't have to step up and be that day one guy. Like he doesn't have to be like Henry Ruggs with the Raiders last year. Like he doesn't have to be the wide receiver one, wide receiver two. So he can come in as a guy that just chips in. He can uh, take the top off the defense and he can learn the ropes as a returner. I think that that would make him a phenomenal asset in the pro game. So then he can ease his way. Does he become a wide receiver two? Eventually, maybe. Maybe, but just that vertical element, just bring it in. Let's go, man. But your thoughts, Vikings meeting with Auburn wide receiver Anthony Schwartz, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We'll support that work, post some of the Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.